hello guys um welcome to our class i hope you are doing good and you are enjoying our lectures this is normal science just online and uh, you are welcome to the class for today we are looking at power in an ac circuit that's what we're going to be looking at in this lecture we'll look at the power in an ac circuit and the resonance in an ac circuit right so please get your writing materials ready so that we can go straight to the class um Please, if you are just uh, visiting this channel and you have not subscribed, please, what are you waiting for? If you are enjoying what we are doing, please just subscribe to the channel, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us positive comments to encourage us. Is so, that okay? Because it takes a whole lot of work to put all these materials together. So your comments will encourage us to continue to do more for you. So subscribe to the channel, give us positive comments, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. And they also invite your friends to come and enjoy what you are enjoying. All right. So please, if you have any problem or any challenge with physics, you can reach us via the WhatsApp number that is showing on your screen. Okay. So welcome to the class for today. And I hope you have gotten your writing materials ready. So if you have done that, there's no time to waste. Let's go to the class for today. We are looking at power in an AC circuit. Okay. So we have discussed power before in electricity and there is no difference between that and this. Okay, so power in an AC circuit is given to you to be equals to power normally is equals to current, this current times voltage or is equals to the square root of current times uh, resistance. Alright, so for an AC circuit, average power is given to you to be uh, current times voltage times cosine of theta. And theta here is equals to phase angle, and the current is root mean square current, and uh, the voltage is root mean square voltage, and as I say, the theta is equals to the phase angle. It can either be angle of lag or the angle of lead between current and the voltage. All right, and uh, for this cos theta, theta is phase angle, and cos theta is equals to power factor because theta is equal to power factor and it is given to you to be equals to the resistance over the dependence resistance over the dependence of the circuits all right so that is power in an ac circuit power is equals to i times v or equals to i squared times r or average power is equal to i times v times cos theta and as i said cos theta is equal to what power factor y theta itself is equal to phase angle between the current and the voltage okay so for this particular one there's no much or long story to tell other than to solve problem on this particular topic and that is exactly what i want to do now so let's go straight to solving one or two problems on this to drive on what we just discussed and application of this question. So this question says that the power dissipated in an AC circuit with root mean square current of 5 ohm, root mean square voltage of 10 volt and phase angle 60 degree is equals to what is a jam question. And as I already said, in jam questions, there's no time to waste. So, because you are working with time, if you know the formula to use, use it immediately, impute the variables, and then get your answer. So, for this, power is equals to I times V times cos theta. So, I is given to you to be 5. V is given to you to be 10 and this is cos 60 degrees. So guys, if you work this out, you are going to have 25 watts. So there is no time to waste on this particular question. So that is the power dissipated. I think that is short and simple and direct. Okay. So this is another question. 
and it says that uh, an electric cooker of, 50, of 450 ohm uses an AC current of peak value 5.0 amp. What is the power distributed? Okay, so when you are reading this question, you should know what is peak value current and root mean square value current. Okay, so in this particular question, you are giving resistance to be equals to 150 ohm. You are giving peak value current, which is IO, to be equals to 5.0 ohm. And you ask to find P power dissipated that you don't know okay so from all our previous question you know that uh, root mean square current is a current that flows through the system so root mean square current is equals to p currents all over square root 2 which is equal to 0 0.0 several one times peak current okay so if you substitute this value you have 0 0.71 multiplied by 5.0 this will give you the root mean square current and that is what you need because that is what is flowing through the system so by the time you multiply this out you are going to have approximately 3.5 um, as your root mean square current so power distributed is equals to i squared multiplied by r so if substitute into that you are going to have 3.5 r squared multiplied by 1 over 15 okay so if you solve that out, you are going to have one eight three seven point five watts as the power dissipated. Okay, so guys, you can see the difference here. When you hear peak value current this is the peak current that is the highest value of the current but the current that is flowing is the root mean square current so you have to find the root mean square current from the peak value current and using this equation remember when we treated in our earlier video on ac circuits we treated this equation root mean square current equals to peak current over the so please you can if you have forgotten if you are not taking number if you are taking note I'm sure you should be familiar with this. Okay, so that is how to use this equation to solve these type of problems. Resonance. Resonance. Resonance is set to occur in an AC series circuit when the maximum current is obtained from such a circuit. So the resonance frequency occurs when the capacitive reactance is equal to the inductive reactance. And remember that this is uh, inductive reactance and this is capacity reactance. So resonance current occur when these two are equal. Okay. So resonance current or resonance occur when the maximum current is obtained from the circuits. And we have been told that the resonance frequency will occur when capacitive reactance equals to inductive reactance and the resonance frequency fo is equals to 1 all over 2 pi square root inductance multiplied by capacitance so this equation you have to take note of this and then this then resonance application is in tuning of radios and television yeah Resonance is applied in the tuning of your radio system and your television system. Okay, because that is where you tune into different frequencies. When you want to tune your radio, you tune into different frequencies. When you want to tune your television, the same thing that you do, right? You allow your television to search for different frequencies where different channels appear. 
So this resonance is applied in tune of your radio and television set. Okay, guys, so let's see. Let's see if we can solve a problem on these two. Okay, so this is a sample jam question. You say that in an inductor capacitor circuit, the inductance and the capacitance are 5 Henry and 2 microfarad respectively. Calculate the resonant frequency of the circuit. Okay, so this one is direct. It's a jam question. Resonant frequency FO, we just discussed that it's equals to what? 1 all over what? So we had a 1 all over 2 pi square root L times C. So just put the values there 2 times pi times the square root of uh, 5 times 2 times 10 raised to power minus 6. Don't forget that you convert 2 microfarad to farad by multiplying 2 by 10 raised to power minus 6 to give you this in farad or column. Okay? So that is what you should do, and by the time you, 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 by the time you do all your workings out, this will give us one all over two times pi square roots. By the time you have finished. This part, this square root part of it, you have this times 3.16 times 10 to the power minus 3. Minus 3. So by the time you work all this out, you are going to have your frequency to be equals to. 50.3 hertz 50.3 hertz all right so that will give you the frequency for this particular arrangement so that is how to apply the question not not so much not too difficult just remember the equation and no point to apply it okay so guys this is your test your understanding page when an AC current given by R is equal to the passage through a 12 ohm resistor, the power dissipated in the resistor is what? Now remember, this is a jam question, and also remember that in our earlier topic in AC current, we treated wave equations. So I would advise you can go back there so that you understand the meaning of this wave equation and what variable you need from this equation to solve this problem okay so i've given you the hints and i expect that you go back watch that video or watch that lecture know which variable you need from here and then use it to solve for this one this question should not take you more than a minute if you understand it okay so please try i've given you the hints already so just do what i've said and then you'll get your answer Readily. So thank you so much for your time, guys. Uh, this year we are stopping this class, and uh, we appreciate you for being with us so far. Thank you so much. So before I leave, please subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us positive comments, invite your friends, invite your schoolmates. You can also help us to advertise this channel so that people will come and then come and enjoy what they are what you are enjoying too. Is that okay? So we are doing our best to make sure that we cover the full curriculum of physics and um, we've gone far. It's been a pretty long journey, but 
it has not been easy, but we're doing our best and we're trying to make sure that the student gets a complete package in physics. It's not like uh, getting one information here, you go and turn up and no, once you come into this channel, you are getting a full dose of your lecture series in physics. All right, so please continue to be with us, invite more of your colleagues and friends. All right, so please reach us with the WhatsApp number and uh, communicate with us if you have any challenges. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and uh, we hope to see you in our next class. Thanks.